Welcome to Colts Law as I bring you breaking news. The Indianapolis Colts just announced that they have activated linebacker Jordan Glasgow from IR. Huge. Oh, well, okay. So he's a great special teamer. Uh, but that's not the biggest thing. All right. They waived defensive tackle Khalil Davis. Wait. No. That, again, not big, huge. Sorry. Defensive end Deo Odangbo has been activated from the NFL list, from the pup list, in an effort to bring an extra little spark to the Indianapolis Colts pass rush. As you know, Deo Odangbo was actually a second round pick. Many thought was a horrible pick because they didn't expect him to play at all this season. Due to um, late last season, he had the Achilles tear. Well, apparently he's been practicing this past week or so and has just been activated and apparently is going to be playing against the Tennessee Titans to help get pass rush up in Ryan Tannehill's face. That's huge news. Um, I don't know what to expect. We'll see. I, I've done a film room on him. Uh, you can check that out on my channel. But, you know, we don't know what to what to look, what to watch for with the fact that his Achilles could have affected him in certain ways. Also, he's a rookie, has yet to have a single snap of NFL uh, game. You know, he, he missed preseason training camp and all of the first half of the 2021 NFL season. But it will still be fun to see what he brings. Even if he has five snaps against Tennessee, at least we'll be able to see what he brings. The biggest news, in my opinion, because I expected Odangbo to be brought up at some point soon. Running back Jordan Wilkins was released. Just released. From the roster. Now. There's a few reasons why I think this is a bigger news than what the uh, the news on Deo was. Number one, the past few weeks, Jordan Wilkins has missed practice due to what was listed as a non-football illness, which brings up the question, what's going on with Jordan Wilkins? He comes back this week off that illness, practices all week, and then is just straight released. Just straight up released. Now, in response to that, running back Deion Jackson and safety Josh Jones were activated to the roster from the practice squad. Josh Jones, in uh, the veteran, in hopes to uh, help with the Julian Blackman situation where he is out for the season. And running back Deion Jackson to be that fourth running back in that Indianapolis Colts stable. But I don't believe that Jordan Wilkins was released due to his, you know, his production on the field. Yes, Jordan Wilkins was only a fourth string running back. But good Lord, have you looked? His rookie year, he had 60 carries, averaging 5.6 yards a carry. Okay. Uh, in 2019, he had 51 carries for 307 yards, 6 yards a carry. Wow. And last year, 84 carries, 308 yards. He's averaging 5 yards a carry for his career. 5 yards. That's solid, right? And the best. Those first two years, he was the best running back in the NFL uh, average per carry for any running back in the NFL averaging over 50 carries a year. That's unbelievable. To, to, to average almost five yards a carry in his first three seasons is really, really good. Now, I don't know if this has to do with the illness or if it's a request to be released by um, by him, by Wilkins, so that he might go to another team. 
I'm sure we will find out in the future, very soon, whether or not that is the case. But either way, wow, huge news. A lot of you will will probably say, well, Jordan Wilkins, four-string running back, didn't really get... It was great to have him just in case. We used him quite a bit last year. We used him quite a bit the year before and the year before when our starters went down. Now we have, obviously, Marlon Mack. Marlon Mack's asking to be traded. Are they going to trade him? That's a big, because if they trade him, that means our backup will be Deion Jackson, who has not had any carries yet this year in the season. Whereas we know what we get from Jordan Wilkins, we have no real clue. I mean, he he looked good. Deion Jackson looked good in college. But we're letting go a known a known commodity versus an unknown commodity. And that has me a little bit worried. I hope and pray it has nothing to do with the illness. If it does, Jordan, I wish you the best of luck. If it's because you asked to be released so you could go to another NFL team that is running back needy, like some of the, there's plenty of them out there. Then again, from me to you, best of luck. I hope that something comes out of this for you and that you become someone uh, that is used a lot, right? In, in that in that running back stable, wherever team you go to. If if you're if it's because of your illness, I hope. Uh, my best wishes and prayers to you that you'll be able to uh, fight off whatever it is you're dealing with. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Tag that notification bell. Uh, that way you're notified next time I go live or upload a video. And please share this stream to your favorite social media. And until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law, and as usual, have a good one. This channel is proudly sponsored by the Backroom Collection. They do beautiful sports canvas art with football, basketball, baseball, and other sports themes. Special orders are accepted, and autograph pieces are available. Many Indianapolis Colts sign pieces will be available beginning in November. Just use your discount code CL10 to purchase the pieces you want to spice up your living area. That's CL10. Just because a guy's a player's not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.